Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chance, and today we're back with another Buffy reaction, this time with Season 1, Episode 12. Now we are finally here for the season finale. I'm actually recording this way after I recorded my reaction for the finale. So this is going to be a real quick intro with no pre-thoughts. But before we get into the reaction, just want to note that I am over on Patreon now for the Buffy reactions. We are up to season two, episode five on Patreon. And you can actually watch my full reaction there with the episode on there without having to sync up. So if that sounds like something you would be interested in, I'll definitely go ahead and leave the link in the description below. All right, with all that out of the way, let's go and hop into the season one finale of Buffy. Previously on Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. I've been oh, we got it previously on, huh? I've really forgotten what it's like on the surface. Yeah, I'm assuming that we're going to wrap up what we started at the Anointed One, and then with the Codex and everything, and that'll probably lead into Season 2. You know how I feel about you. It's uh, pretty obvious, isn't it? There's never been anyone else for me. Are you talking to food? Would you, um, He's practicing to talk to Oh, that's Buffy. good. Date me. It's terrible, right? Huh? Aw, Willow. I want to do it now. I got to do it now. Oh, Buffy's not here. You can practice on me, Small. Oh, I hope Willow finds somebody that's not a cyborg or AI robot in a computer. Oh. What's that? What's going on over here? Nice. He looked at that like, oh shit. <laughs> nice. Night. Gotta go for the record. What? What's the record? This is it. The master shall rise, and the slayer shall. Uh oh. Earthquake? Or is this a hellmouth quake? No, not the coffee. Wow, this episode started off real fast. Definitely feels like a finale. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. Shakers. My time has come. He's so happy. I'm happy for him. What do you think? I'm happy for your happiness. 5.1. 5.1. <laughs> he's so funny. I legit think he's hilarious. Morning. Wow, the damage looks fairly structural. Are we safe in here? Buffy. What did you read? Uh, yes, we're, we're safe. Uh, but probably best not to go out there. Yeah, he's shaking up. It's getting hairy out there, Giles. I killed three vampires last night. One of them was practically on school grounds. Yeah. The numbers are increasing. You need to tell her. The least you could do is exhibit some casual interest. You could go, hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> there you go. You got it. That's okay. I can't put it off any longer. I have to meet my terrible fate. What? Biology. <laughs> At least tell us what you read. Wow, that was boring. I don't feel that boring covers it. Oh, so this no. one's written and directed Boring by Josh short. Wheaton, huh? For the finale. So, uh, Buffy, I wanted to, um, there was this thing I wanted to ask you. Oh, God, I don't want to be here for this. This is going to be awkward. You know, Buffy, uh, spring fling is a time for students to gather and... <laughs> Buffy, I want you to go to the dance with me, you and me, on a date. I don't know what to say. Well, you're not laughing, so that's a good start. <laughs> Buffy, I like you a lot. And I know we're friends and we've had experiences, but I want more. I didn't expect him to actually confess this season. Xander, you're one of my best friends. You and Willow. Well, Willow's not looking to date you. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the friendship that we have. Well, I don't want to spoil it either, but that's not the point, is it? You either feel a thing or you don't. I don't think she does. I don't. Damn. Xander, I'm, I'm sorry. Ouch. But we all knew it. I'm not him. I mean, I I'm not Angel. I'm dead to make time with you. Oh, come on. That's, that's really not. Harsh. Yeah, that's not fair. I, I need to see you. No, I, I realize that. Oh, hey. I was wondering if we'd see her again. Sorry. Uh, not really up to uh, socializing just now. Something's going on, Rupert, and I'm guessing you already know what it is. Or can she help again? A cat last week gave birth to a litter of snakes. What? Family was swimming in Whisper Lake when the lake suddenly began to boil. Yeah, that sounds hellish. Look, I'm scared, okay? Plus, I've got this this crazy monk emailing me from Cortona about some anointed one. Yes, yes. He's dead. No. Someone's dead? Who is this monk? Find out everything he knows. Yeah, that's the worst thing is that they thought they got rid of the anointed one, but it was that kid the whole time, which is crazy. How'd it go? On a scale of one to ten, it sucked. You'll get over it. Go home, eat some ice cream. Watch some TV. We can go. Be my date. We'll, we'll have a great time. We'll dance. We'll go wild. <laughs> 
What do you say? No. No. <laughs> Willow, come on. She, she'd be taking it a lot different than... with you and watch you wish you were at the dance with her? Yeah. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. I'll see you on Monday. Should see by now that the girl has feelings for you. She's gonna go home, lie down, and listen to country music. I don't know about that. <laughs> Whoa. I was just gonna say, I, I, I always say it, but I have to say it again. Buffy's always got the best outfits. I've checked it against all my other volumes. It's very real. Well, there's gotta be some way around it. What, is she gonna be like, turned to evil or something? Is that what it says? This is the codex. There is nothing in it that does not come to pass. Tomorrow night, Buffy will face the master. And, and die? die? Oh, damn. <laughs> well, too bad, because we got more seasons. <laughs> what if we all help? We can change destiny and fate for Buffy. Buffy. But say how he's gonna kill me? Do you think it'll hurt? Oh. You even gonna tell me? I was hoping that I wouldn't have to, that there was some way around it. I... You're trying to find a different way first. I've got a way around it. I quit. Damn. Tell me my fortune! You're so useful sitting here with all of your books! You're really a lot of help! Dang. It's good to see this vulnerable side of Buffy. We just gotta figure out a way. I already did. I quit, remember? Pay attention! He's just gonna come for you. Buffy, if the master rises... I don't I'm 16 years old. I don't want to die. Oh, that's so sad. You forget with how strong she is and all the stuff she overcomes and everything she's able to do that she is just 16 years old. She's had to go through all this stuff, you know, through the first season already, and she can barely have any sort of normalcy in her life. You all right? Sure. Probably just full from that bite of I dinner you nearly had. I wonder if the mom will ever find out that she's the Slayer. Mom, let's go away. What? Anywhere, just for a while, a weekend. We can talk about all the embarrassing things you love to bring up. Oh, she's doing a great job with acting this episode, too. Well, then, uh, this probably isn't the best time for this, but, uh... Oh, what a great mom. No, I, I can't go to the dance. Says who? Is it written somewhere? You should do what you want. I mean, kind of. I didn't have a date, so I got dressed up and I went anyway. <laughs> was it awful? Nice. It was awful. Then what happened? I met your father. He didn't Aww. have a date either. He did. Ooh, you stole him. Kevin said he'd bring everything to the Bruins last night. He promised. We'll never get everything ready in time. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, by the way, let me know. So for those of you who were watching this, like, as it was airing and you didn't know that there was going to be a season two, how worried were you guys? Did you, did you guys, like, think, like, oh, wow, maybe she will end up dying? Because it's a, I'm sure it's a much different perspective back then when it was just like the show just came out and you didn't know if there was going to be a future for it. Unless they did already announce a season two at this point. But me knowing that there's multiple seasons, like, I know she's going to be okay in the end somehow. He totally flaked on me, on me, and I, I don't even care. God help me, I think it's cute. <laughs> there they are. They're watching cartoons. That's so cute. That's not cute. <laughs> That's not cute. Obviously, Kevin has underestimated the power oh. of the icy stare. <laughs> They're, oh yeah, vampire bites. And Willow knows exactly what those marks are. I was thinking in the back of my head, like, what if they were dead? But I really didn't think it was going to happen. Part of me feels like this episode's going to end on a cliffhanger. Just thank God I don't have to wait to watch it because I'm going to watch season two, what, episode one, right for this one. It doesn't matter as long as you're okay. I'm not okay. Yeah, I don't know if Willow's seen that many dead bodies. Guys. Yeah, and she knew him. It wasn't our world anymore. They made it theirs. Wow. And they had fun. It's been like the most serious episode with weight this season so far, or at least one of the most. Everybody's doing a great job acting, too. Buffy. Oh, I love her prom dress like with the jacket. Dress. Yeah, just as uh, Willow says it. You know what? You're gonna kick some ass. Screw the master. We'll figure out a way. Now all the signs are reading that he's going to get out, which opens the hell mouth, which brings yeah. the demons, which ends the world. Unless we fight back and win. Aurelius wrote of the Anointed One. The Slayer will not know him, and he will lead her into hell. Yes. The Anointed is a kid. If the vampire that Buffy killed was in fact not the Anointed, then it may well be. You guys should look up like missing children. Buffy's not going to face the Master. I am. Giles is going to do it in her place? Aww. So I'm looking for a kid, That's why I love Giles. And he'll lead me to the master. Okay, I'm not going to send you out there to die. 
I've made up my mind. So have I. I made up mine first. I'm older and wiser than you, and just. <laughs> we are the slayer. I've prophecy, and I'm going. Let's work There's as a team. Say will change my mind. I know. She can knock him out. <laughs> Saw that coming. You couldn't like karate chop my neck. His jaw's gonna hurt now. Yeah, he's out cold. <laughs> He'll be out. When he wakes up, tell him. I don't know. Think of something cool. Tell him I said it. <laughs> you fight the master, and you'll die. Maybe. Maybe Angel will step in and help. Maybe I'll take him with me. Fight trying. I just want to give up and let him kill you. Might as well fight to the end. Help me. Shoot him. Shoot him in the head. This little anointed bastard. I know who you are. They did a good job casting that kid, though. <laughs> How'd you let her go? As the soon-to-be purple area on my jaw will attest, I did not let her go. I'm sorry to bring this up, but we also have an apocalypse to worry about. Do you mind? How come she's in the club? Hey. Hey, be nice to her. Right now, I gotta help Buffy. We don't even know where she's gone. No. But I can find out. How? Oh, look who's here. Mind Xander isn't. Yeah, I figured. Buffy, she's gonna fight the master. He'll kill her. Only we're not gonna let it happen. Oh, what do you propose we do about it? We go help her fight. I know you can find this master guy. He's underground, right? Take me to him. You're way out of your league, kid. How can I say this clearly? Oh, damn. I pretty much think you're a vampire. But Buffy's got this big old yin for you. She thinks you're a real person. And right now I need you to prove her right. You're in love with her. You know that. I do like Xander going to him of all people and asking him for help. I'm really interested in how this is going to go down. Where's the kid going? Thanks for having me. You know, you really ought to talk to your contractor. It's like you got some water damage. <laughs> the feeble banter portion of the fight. Why don't we just cut to the <laughs> Shit, he's good. You're not going to kill me with that thing. Don't be so sure. You still don't understand your part in all this, do you? You are the prey. Oh, okay. Same thing. Well, the last time the master tried to rise was the harvest. He sent a bunch of vampires to get him fresh blood. Well, where did that go down? The bronze. Mm-hmm. We have to warn them. No, we'll go. You have to concentrate on demon killing. My car's in the lot. Stay close together, and for goodness sake, be careful. I love all the moving parts we got. Everybody's doing their part to help. You know, for someone who's all-powerful, you sure do like to hide. I want this moment to last. Well, I don't. Yeah, I love the cinematography this is episode and the lighting i understand <laughs> if they get to the bronze before we do don't need to worry about that uh-oh because uh -oh. they're not going to the bronze they're coming here it's like night of the living dead ah <laughs> oh, shit it was no of you you heard the prophecy that i was about to break free and you came to stop me how do you know the prophecies are tricky creatures. They don't tell you everything. You're the one that sets me free. Oh. If you hadn't come, I couldn't go. Wow. No. Yeah, right. What? Oh God. The power. I mentioned that in one of the episodes about what would happen if somebody sucked the Slayer's blood. Oh, but that's right. She won't turn unless she drinks his blood, though. So she's not going to turn, but... He's free. And it wasn't too bad of a bite. Like, she'll be all right if they find her. They can save her. But I think this sets up the rest of the seasons with Hellmouth being open and just about to get crazy, probably. Let's hope she didn't drown. She's dead. No. No. He didn't even suck that much blood. But if she drowns, uh, there's a shot. CPR. You have to do it. I have no breath. Good thing he came. Why are they coming here? Not caring. Who's Get that? In. Oh, hey, nice Cordelia. Everybody's coming through this episode. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, if I was watching this back when this came out, and I didn't know this was gonna be season two. I'd be so nervous right now. Oh, that scared me. I don't know why that scared me. <laughs> nice. All right, but we got a lot of problems to deal with now. Vampires. Gotta get to the library. Library. Great. <laughs> of course, we generally walk there. I'm surprised she got her license after what happened at the last driver's test. Nice. 
I think Cordelia needs to be our official driver. Oh my god. Why are they coming here? Ew. I don't like the way that snake. What was that? My world. My beautiful world. He's actually finally free. That also makes me wonder, does she lose her Buffy powers? Or does she still have the, the Slayer strength? No, you're still weak. No, I feel strong. I feel different. Why do you feel strong and different? You shouldn't be part vampire, right? Because you'd have to drink their blood, from what I remember. Hey, they're playing the theme. I love it. She looks badass. Oh, look, a bad guy. Oh, look, a bad guy. <laughs> Just easily. I want to know what happened to her. I'm ready. Nice. One way or another, this won't take long. Damn, okay, Buffy. Let's get it done. <laughs> she actually bit a vampire. That's hilarious. Get that thing away. <laughs> that was a great scream. Appropriate. Gross. That is crazy. Those are some great practical effects. Yes. Not him during the Hercules clap. For my child. That's your baby? I don't think it's yours just yet. You're dead. Reborn. I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. <laughs> you were destined to die. It was written. What can I say? I've long the written. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody needs to cut this thing's head off. This is a great finale so far. They're going all out. Did you really think you could best me here when you couldn't below? Oh, just wait. You have She's fruit punch mouth. She's faking it. What? So she can get close. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, somebody's gonna fall on that. Where are your jives now? I knew it. You're that amped about hell? Go there. Nice. Great one liner. <laughs> hell yeah. Is he like dead dead though? I mean, it looked like he died died, but I'm just wondering like going forward, what could the vampire threat be? It's just been a really weird day. Yeah, Buffy died and everything. Wow, harsh. <laughs> well, what do we do now? I don't know about the rest of you, but I'd like to get out of this place. We need to b bury his bones somewhere. Yeah, I hear there's a dance at the bronze tonight. Could be fun. Yeah, Buffy. I like how Cordelia's just in on it now. <laughs> what about him? And where's the anointed He's not one? Going anywhere. Where's the child? Loser. <laughs> Loser. All right, well, that was my reaction to the season one finale of Buffy. As I noted in my intro, I'm actually recording these thoughts a little bit after I watch the finale. I'm actually up to like season two, episode five over on the Patreon. But as far as my thoughts on this episode, I thought this was a very well done season finale. I honestly wasn't sure if we were going to get to the master at the end of this season or if it was going to continue to be a threat for the next seasons to come. But it was really cool to see that come to an end here. And just Sarah Michelle Geller's acting in this episode was amazing. You could just really tell how scared Buffy was with this whole revelation that she's supposed to die especially because all season she's already been dealing with you know the weight of responsibility of being the slayer but then finding out that fate says you're supposed to die is just it's got to be awful for her I really liked how they handled that this episode and how there was such a tone shift as well I'm very interested in what that means with her dying and coming back I know she mentioned that she felt better than she's ever felt or something like that so I wonder if that was part of the prophecy too maybe her dying and coming back Back, or did Buffy herself somehow achieve something that no other Slayer has done? But yeah, I thought they did a wonderful job bringing this season to an end, and I really couldn't have asked for more. Let me know what you think about the season one finale in the comments below. If you enjoyed my reaction, please go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and then also hit the notification bell as well. That way you can be notified anytime I upload. But as always, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.